as you can tell by the items here in front of us in the Delmarva Life kitchen. The powers that be have compelled us once again to have to eat something. <laughs> I, know, I know I'm not kidding you, this is a life. And joining us this <laughs> afternoon is head chef at Mad Hatter Cafe in Salisbury. This is Victor Suberry. Thank you, Suberry. That's Suberry, it. correct. Oh, Suberry. Suberry. Yeah, Victor Suberry. Yes. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Yeah. My What's, pleasure. What are we doing? We're doing an untraditional scallops and bacon. I have um, bacon lardons that I, I pre-seared them before I brought them over. Okay. And then we got some nice fresh scallops, um, 1020 scallops, nice and thick, juicy. Um, we're going to season them, we're going to pan sear them, we're going to pan sear the lardons. What makes it untraditional? Because it's not wrapped. Everyone wants a wrapped scallop and bacon. You wrap oh. the bacon around the scallop and then it's it, it's just really old school. So I, I kind of came out of the realm a little bit. Oh boy, living yeah. outside the box. Oh, of course. All right. That's usually my life. <laughs> I think we are going to kind of ask the same question. What's, what's a bacon lardon? The bacon lardon is just a smoked piece of the bacon belly, the pork belly. Right. And then you just sear them. They're already smoked, so it's it's fully cooked. You just sear okay. it to bring out that juices and all that nice Ooh. smoke flavor. Okay. Sorry. So what do we do? What we're going to do is we're going to sear it. We're going to put the oil in the pan right here. Okay. You can sear, um, season those scallops with that seasoning right there. You can sprinkle it on them, the here? seasoning yes. right here. Right. That's yeah. our Mad Hatter seasoning. It's, What's a, a, What's it's just it? ours. What's I'm not saying, I can't tell you that. <laughs> that I can't tell you. Every time. A lot, yeah. a little. Oh, or? you can go heavy on them if you want. Yeah, am depending I, on I, if you like. Yeah, no, get it on there good. Oh, seriously? Yeah, oh, yeah, get <laughs> it on there. So, yeah. am I doing both plates? Yep. Okay. Yes, no, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it's okay. perfect. Keep go. going. Yep, and, then, and then, and I imagine um, having a hot pan is important. Oh, you need mm -hmm. a very, very hot pan mm -hmm. when you do with scallops. Why? Because yeah. they have their own sugar in them, so you really just want to caramelize them. Mm -hmm. You bring out that nice juices. And the scallop, a lot of people make a mistake by serving it well done. It needs yeah. to be medium rare. Yeah. Now you take the tongs, we'll flip them over, and we're going to season them again. Oh, other side. All right. Oh, yeah. Did you save some for the other side? Man, you are making me work for it. <laughs> well, I thought that's what I was supposed to do well, today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to work for your food. <laughs> you know? Right. There you go. He did that kind of quick. <laughs> you get used to it. He knew how long it was going to take me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing what you do? I've been cooking now for about 27 years. Wow. About 27 years I've been How'd doing it. How'd you get it. started? Um, I started on this little seafood place in New Jersey on the shore in Bradley Beach. Mm -hmm. And my parents have a house there. And I just started 13 washing dishes and I was really interested in cooking. Wow. So the owner seen me in the kitchen all the time started yelling at me. I was like, I just want to learn. <laughs> yeah. yeah so he's yeah. like, you belong in the dish room. I'm like, no, I belong <laughs> over here. Okay. So he taught me what I was doing and I just Blanked took it from there. Yeah. yeah. 13, the owner started yelling at me. Yeah, right. exactly. So is it time so, to, uh, so do you need to yell at us well, to tell no, us the story? We can start searing right now. We'll okay. get them in. I don't want anyone to see. Uh, and our, yeah, I imagine uh, you're, uh, you use flame gas. Actually, in our restaurant, we're using induction. Oh, really? Yes. I'm used to using flame, but where we're at right now, we use induction. Because a lot of chefs come in here and they're they're yeah. used to the gas stove. Wish, wish it took flame. me a minute. Yeah. It mm -hmm. took me a minute to get used to the induction. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to okay. these and right here have their own oil and stuff on them, so you just put a little bit of grease in there, oh, and okay. we're just heating these up. Okay. Like and, you, and you said it's going to let out some of the juices. Yep, it's going to let some of the juices out of the pork itself, and mm -hmm. that smoke flavor, mm -hmm. it's going to all go together. So do you think that people overcooking scallops is probably the number one mistake? A big mistake. Yeah. Everyone does it. Yeah. And it, it, the consistency. I love scallops because of the consistency. Yes. And, and it changes the consistency if you overcook them. Of course. And it also, it, it changes where also where you get them from, too, the waters you get them from. Really? The, the flavors change. Because mm -hmm. the scallop eats whatever in the water that it's being, that's, that's growing in. Mm -hmm. so. What do you and, recommend? Um, pretty much. I mean, I get scallops everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I can't really suggest any certain place to get them from, to be honest with you, because you're getting them in from all over sometimes. They just sometimes Especially nowadays with, with getting with getting products in, right. it's kind of hard to get them from the same beds all the time. They just sometimes have a little different nuance. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay. Like I said, they have their own sugar in them, so it gives a nice caramelization on them. You definitely want them fresh. I do know that. Oh, you have You can to tell have them fresh. a fresh scallop from a not so fresh yep. scallop. You can definitely tell. All right, so you're going to turn this over. Okay, well, I'll yeah. tell you what, maybe this would be a good time to take a little break. Sounds good. And we'll come back finish this off okay. and uh, then we will uh, taste them. Yep. Stick around. Delmarva Life will be right back. Uh, let me tell you, the studio is inundated with the smells of deliciousness today, courtesy of head chef Victor Suburbi from Mad Hatter Cafe in uh, Salisbury. We are making 
untraditional pan seared scallops and bacon. Yes. And I think everything just looks amazing. All right, for you, we're gonna take this plate over there. We're gonna swiggle them down, straight down. What is that? You want me that to is eat? a homemade balsamic glaze. Ooh. Yeah. Balsamic mm. glaze. I'm not gonna do it like you do. Yeah, you got yeah. it. You oh, see? Yeah. You got I it. had a bad squiggle. <laughs> a little, a little. You'd make me do that over again. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay. It's untraditional, so it doesn't it's have to be. There you go. It doesn't have to be. be ugly. It's you just, right. just put a piece of bacon <laughs> on top of it. Nobody will ever know. That's where it's going. Right on top. There you go. <laughs> So this is part of your menu now. This is on the new menu, yep. What we did was we opened up the menu to do an all-day menu instead of having separate menus like we did before. Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. And we got breakfast all day long, we got lunch, sandwiches, and you can even get entrees. Nice. From opening to close. That's great. And you guys are located on Fitzwater Street? 501. Or West Main Street. Well, West Main Street, okay. Main. Yep. <laughs> Gonna take some of them, dust them on each scallop. What each is one. that? That is our hazelnut. Oh. Hazelnut. Yep. Mm -hmm. How do you? No, little, get it on your hand, just like this. <laughs> just dump okay, it on no, it's all right. You gotta get a little heavy handed, Listen, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm getting nervous. You're giving me this stuff to do tonight. Yeah, I'm just sitting over here <laughs> telling you how to do it. There you go. Yeah, at least the same time. Come on. Usually what my wife does with me. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I mean, you know. Right. And then we got some caper berries. Yeah. Caper, caper berries. berries I've never corner. even heard of those. Oh yeah, just they, they're actually not as um, salty as it sits in a nice brine. Mm hmm And they're not as salty as capers. A little bit of that. And you can finish. So that the one artistic up. part of you really comes out in this. It really does. I mean I, I come from some four star, five star restaurants in Boston. Um, Fairmont Hotel, Smith and Walensky's, some really high end places. Was it just me, so. or we're into the second segment of this entire part? Did he kind of bury the lead? Bury the lead a little bit. All I heard was a wow. New Jersey seafood restaurant. Yeah, I, oh, I moved delicious. down here three years ago from Boston. <laughs> so, Who brought you here? Um, my wife. Mm. We were together. We were together in college, and we ended up hooking up again after yeah. many years. So that, that'll happen. And yeah. there you go. There you go. That's beautiful. It's almost the, too pretty to eat. The caper berries were my responsibility, weren't they? Almost. Uh, there you go. Too I messed that up. Pretty to eat. Well, yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah. You Sorry, guys can we. enjoy. Okay. Yeah, so put your oh. tomatoes on the other one. Do, do you just kind of? I'm, yeah, I'm just lay them down. I'm going to come over on this side. Oh, can I? Please have a have a. I've food. done nothing. I've done nothing but tell you what you're doing. <laughs> I thought that was your job. <laughs> oh, it is. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick so we can see that real pretty. Uh, forks are there, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. I have a little okay. cup of water here. Is that for something in particular? That the chef. Move. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> I'll get this out. And I'll get this out. Right. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. This is your I, I'm trying one. to. Oh, he gave us a knife because I, I want to I wanna cut into it so that I can get the bacon and the scallop. Does that make sense? It, it does. It does. Okay. All right. Do you? Man. Huh. So, mm -hmm. Chef, again, tell us. Where you are? I'm at Mad Hatter mm. Cafe, 501 West Main Street, uh -huh. Salisbury, Maryland. This is currently on your menu. This is one of the dishes that is on my menu. I don't think you're gonna like it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Non-traditional. Let's just spit it out at you. That's it's the okay. best. Non-traditional yeah. is the best. I see what you're saying about the medium rare for the scallop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the bacon. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Chef, that's fantastic. My pleasure. Mm.